Capricorn. Let's do it. Hello, Capricorn. Rambling Mike here. Come play a little bit of tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your view. You know I do. You know I do. I always want to take a minute of gratitude for my many, many Capricorn friends that have blessed me over the years. Cappy Cap, if you ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form, thank you so very much. So very kind. Appreciate it all, large or small. I am doing relationship spreads tonight. They can talk about home, work, family, the neighbors, the kids. But you know, I got some love cards right here. I'm playing with... Uh, well, one of my new faves, man, the Egyptian Art Nouveau. I got uh, the He Said, She Said Classics right here. Uh, the Golden Art Nouveau for a little clarification. My love cards. And, uh, well, the Terra Illuminati 22. I want to remind you, Cappy Cap, if you'd like to play one more time, um, on the 31st of March, I'm going to be giving away a FaceTime tarot reading. I'm going to be giving away some nice tarot decks this time around. And a couple of t-shirts. Well, a handful of t-shirts. just want to bless some of my friends. They blessed me over the years. And uh, all you got to do to enter, drop me a comment. Ain't got to be nothing fancy. Just give me a happy face. Give me a high mic. I'm going to shoot you back the ticket. Let you know I wrote your name down. And put it in, put it in the barrel for the 31st. Best of luck to all who enter. Let's play some tarot. Let's play some tarot. Cappy cap, cappy cap, cappy cap, cappy cap. Let's try for Let's play some tarot around here. Oh. Well, again, um, it looks like there may be a change going on around here. I say again because I want to see it for a little bit with my Earth Babies. Um, I got Four of Swords. It's going to be quiet time with Source. I love all your, I love all your Guardians right there. Uh, Four of Swords can be spending time with Source, uh, healing the heart, healing the mind. Maybe thinking about, you, you know, using that Four of Sword, man, to uh, cut ties that bind. Um, you, may, you may be in the land of indecision about that still right now. Two of Swords, but traditionally Two of Swords has the, uh, the tide coming in. All right, Capricorn, so this talks about, you know, a decision will be made. A decision will be made. Good. Five cups. There's a cup spiller in this story. There's a cup spiller, and there is uh, two cups behind them right there. I'm not really paying attention to the two cups of bliss. A little focus on the cup spiller right here. Looks like you may be um, looking in a new direction. These are these are love cards that showed up, Capricorn. It is my queen of love, and um, she or he. You may have water in your chart. He's all jumped out. Is looking for that sweet, sweet, sweet uh, love right here. Um, that's Six of Cups. Six of Cups. You may have your, um, uh, you know, sweet, sweet memory right here. You know, when times are good, things are sweet. Cappy's life. Okay. Love, is, love seems to be in the air right here, but a lot of healing. A lot of decisions. Probably about letting a cup spiller go. Let's go. Let's go. A lot of love. A lot of love here showed up in Cappy's spread. Give me a story right here. Capricorn love team. 
What's going on, my Cappy Caps? Give me a card. The Seven of Cups came out. You know, the old cup spillers over here. Uh, you know, the, the cup spillers over here. The Seven of Cups came out. That's too many cups in a love story. And too many cups in a love story in the one I'm looking at around here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But there is somebody very, very special in one of these cups. And we do got, you know, this Queen of Love energy and Six of Cups. Hmm. I wonder if you're thinking about somebody and definitely tired of somebody. Definitely tired of a cup spiller is what I see right here. And you may have your thoughts already on somebody very, very special to you. Let's go. Capricorn, what's going on around here? Capri Cap. Capri Cap. A golden pinnacle came out. That's a... <laughs> That's an earth energy right there, Cappy. You know, it's a new, there's an archway right there. Oh, oh, Cappy, you got your eye on somebody? Uh, ultimately, this hair path keeps showing up around here, Capricorn. The old Pope and the Tarot deck, that's a big Taurus card. That's a big Taurus card right there, Cappy. Oh, I think Cappy's definitely, definitely going to be moving in a new direction. Yep, 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 yep. The Nine of Swords, you know, the Sleepless Nights. The Ringing of the Hands, Two Swords. Uh, you know, we never know unless we ask. <laughs> Damn it, Capricorn. Capricorn, that's a nine, my friends. Uh, this old cycle that's up here, this old cup spiller energy, that thing's uh, that thing's coming to an end. Well, when I said that, look what came out. The world card came out. About an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Yeah, seven swords. Yeah, let it go, man. Let it go. <laughs> let it go, man. Look at look at the look at the two cards that came out with a world card. Um, nine cups on one side, you know, an old cycle ending. Seven swords, an old cycle ending, and a new cycle beginning. <laughs> Cappy, you look pretty happy over here. <laughs> yes, yes. Enough's enough, man. Enough's enough. All right, let's see. Let's see. Give me a little bit on this, please. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. A strength card came out here for you, Big Leo. Big Leo, oh, strength. That's a card of resistance. That's a card of, you know, with seven swords. Uh, Enough's enough. Quiet time, healing the heart right now. Oh, wow, yeah. True that. That's the Ace of Swords. Enough's enough. Seven of Swords, four of Swords, two Swords. So, you know, five cups. Then it shifts around here. Um, you know, seven of cups is way too many people or whatever going on in that card. And it's also got somebody very special. Somebody very special, possibly, to Capricorn's heart. Um, a hair fans here, too. Might be somebody you know, huh? Huh? There's children here, too. More, please. More, please. Cap your cap. Cap your cap. An old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Capricorn. My lovely, lovely Cappies. Give me a card, please. Yeah, two of wands. <laughs> oh, we're setting our intentions on a new world. Looks like, uh, you know, you've let go of that wand. Sometimes 
Sometimes this character hasn't let go of that wand, but definitely has their back to it. That back to it. Fire energy again. Capricorn, tell me about this new world that showed up here. Tell me about this new world that showed up around here. It's a, it's a land of three pinnacles. It's a land of collaboration. It's a land where uh, Capricorn could build a firm foundation. Kind of feel that you might know who this is. It appears to me that this is Cappy thinking, you know, about somebody very, very special to them. And uh, they know, <laughs> and then, and then, and then tower, boom, change, hoo hoo, boom, change, yeah, seven of wands, pack you wild animals, pack. So this is my hero's card, it's about somebody that made a decision to do what's best for them. Choosing the path that they're going to go down. They don't care who likes it or who don't like it. Here we go. Here we go, man. All right. All right. All right. Uh, you may know who this is, huh? If you don't, you'll feel like you've known this person forever. So let's play with golden art nevu here, huh? Let's play with golden art. Golden art nevu. Change, boy. Change. <laughs> Sudden change, even. I got a giggle with it because I was just kind of pulling this thing the whole time and that two swords energy. Then it just went boom. Change. Change for the better. New world showing up. Cappy leaving nine swords behind and picking up nine cups on the other side of this new world card. Beautiful, beautiful. And then uh, two of wands. Uh, you may know who this is. See it? See it? See it? Look at this two wander right there looking at nine of copper. Okay. Okay, and then three pins came out. So, uh, the majors that I have here so far are Leo, um, Scorpio, Aries, Taurus. And the world card, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. All right. I want to look at the new right here. I want to look at the new. So I'm going to play with these two cards right here. Cap, cap. We'll use this Queen of Cups or the Queen of Love for your energy right here. And let's, uh, let's, let's look at uh, the potential for your friend right here with six cups for their significator. And let's put the world in between them right here. The world with nine swords and nine cups. All right. All right. So this looks like Cappy may know who this is right here. All right. First and foremost, definitely your card, male or female, the Queen of Pentacles. It's a Capricorn card. I would say about being on your throne again in life. Tower showed up around here. Tower showed up around here. All right. That's interesting. All right. Arnevu. Arnevu. Tell me about this six cup energy that showed up here with Capricorn. Capricorns on the other side of a new world. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Wow, three cups came out. Could be a rekindling card. Could be somebody new. But it's a card about celebrating life again. It's a card about celebrating life again. And uh, the queen pin showed up on top of that. And this is nice, man. Six cups on three cups. Well, that makes our nine cups, huh? 
Tell me about uh, Capricorn's uh, friend right here. This showed up in the tarot spread. Possibly the one they're thinking about. An ace of pins, wow. That's the cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. That's pretty stable, solid energy right there. Let's go, all right. I, I, who are you thinking about? What's going on with them? What are they thinking and feeling about these days? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I wonder if they know about your journey. You know, because Ten Swords came out. Um, that's about the ending of a very painful cycle and the promise of a new day to dawn. Very powerful, very powerful. Um, again, I see this very, very strong energy for Capricorn. Um, about standing up and putting yourself up in the front of the card of life and doing what's best for you. A lot of change here, man. Change for the better. All right, give me some cards right here. For Capricorn. Whoever this is right here, they would like to hear from you if you ask me, if you're wondering. Capricorn. Capricorn. What's going on with my Capi Caps? Capi Cap. Three of Wands. Wow, I wonder if they live in a little bit of a distance from you. I wonder if you know them, and I wonder if they live in a little bit of a distance from you. If so, they would like to hear from you, is what it says to me. Yeah, Six of Cups came out again. Six of Cups, you know, that's a land of <laughs> happiness and joy and bliss. I like it, Cappy. I like it a lot, man, to be honest with you. You know. Huh? Time to leave that old River of Tears. There's more than River of Tears there, man. Whew. Here we go. Here we go. Cappy. A King of Love showed up. A king, of, a king showed up and a queen showed up. Wow. That's the king of love or the king of water and the queen of earth. Uh, that, makes, that makes mud. That's what life comes from. Wow. Let's go get your lover, man. Cappy. Cappy. Capricorn, what's going on? Oh, 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 oh. A lot of you are ending a karmic cycle. That's a, let me get it the right way. That's a death card. This could be, this could be a karmic energy right here. Especially with all these very blissful cards right here that uh, show in the near future for my Capricorn. This is about death, birth, resurrection, and major transformation, ending a karmic cycle for many, many, many of my Capricorns. I'm going to let it go of that. Congratulations, Cappy. You completed a cycle right here. Uh, the, yeah, a very, very karmic cycle. Wow. Oh, my God, my lovelies. With the promise of a new day to dawn. Maybe with somebody that you know. A lot of love and a lot of cups have showed up here for my Capricorn. Congratulations. Give me a love card right here, Capricorn. Capricorn. Capi Cap. Wow, the true love card came out. Uh, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, this is a romance of a lifetime. Uh, that doesn't surprise me at all with the way these cards change when I start throwing them down here. Yeah, calling in your soulmate. Huh? <laughs> you know, once we know what we don't want, we start shooting those rockets of desire up into the higher self. Higher self will be like, oh, okay, Cappy. All right, we hear you. Of course, we get our loving on ourselves first card, which is the key to it all. It really is. It's the key to it all. I, see, I told you I felt the 
for a lot of my Capricorns is that there's a reconciliation energy here. Um, at least for the Capricorn that I'm reading for, possibly I've been feeling to the whole spread. And it has the potential for a new beginning right here, man, the cornerstone of the Ten Pins. And because, uh, you know, you deserve love. The end of the karmic cycle right here. Huh? You may have a friend, a very special friend. You know. <laughs> it looks like looks like the telephone could be ringing here soon. Give me something for my cap a cap, please. Cap a cap. Cap a cap. Yeah, that's my fool, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Case of Ra Sara. Whatever will be, will be. Let's go. That's an empress right there. This, th these two cards have showed up for all three of my uh, my Earth babies. That's Venus. It's love and abundance. It's the old leap in a new direction in life. You know, in the Garden of Eden, right there. All of, I think all of my Cappy babies again pulled these majors. Give me one more. Cappy, please. <laughs> it's the afterburner. It's the pale rider. It's the pale rider with a new day dawn. And here comes the sun. I see it right there. Do, 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 do. Death, birth, resurrection, and major transformation showing up in my Capricorn's spread. True love, man. A romance of a lifetime. All my love, Cappy Cap, huh? Hey, if you made it to this part in the story, thank you so very much. Appreciate your view. Um, if you're new around here, or even if you're not new around here, hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your uh, tarot readers here on YouTube. If I have Cappy Cap, smash that old red button right there. Smash, <laughs> smash that red button right there, Cappy Cap. And then just slide right over. Ring my bell. Ring my bell over there, Cappy Cap. Hit that old I like Mike button. Hit that old I like Mike button on the way out too. Uh, hey, again, if you want to play on the 31st, Cappy Cap, um, drop me a comment. Give me my happy face, my high mic. I'll see many of you on the 31st. Cappy Cap, may our dreams come true, my friend. Do what's best for you. Love and light. Bye for now. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right.